Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. And as you know that we talk about the DevOps here and the interview preparation related things over here. We talk mostly about the interview related things. We talk mostly about the AWS related skills, the Terraform related skills, the your uh, Jenkins related things, your Docker related things, and the Kubernetes as well. Here also we are going to talk about the DevOps only. Correct. So we are going to talk about what kind of packages you can expect once you jump into the DevOps world, correct? So either you are jumping from your uh, as a zero experience that is a fresher or if you are jumping from uh, some experience to the DevOps domain. So what kind of packages you can expect and from where should you get started, correct? If you are going getting into the DevOps world, what should you learn first? Either you go sh you should go with the AWS or you should go with the Azure or you should go with the GCP which kind of services you should get started with correct whether if you are learning aws cloud even so which kind of services you should learn uh, end up with all which services you are more you will be more confident so that you can appear in the interview and you can uh, answer all those questions which come as a part of interview correct so we are going to talk in detail about these things we will also be talking about what is devops what's the day-to-day -day task about the devops and uh, how will you introduce uh, yourself as an experienced engineer during the uh, DevOps interview, correct? Like you might have been not be working uh, for two to three years, but you want to represent yourself as a two to three years of experience uh, into the DevOps world. So how will you introduce yourself? We are going to talk about that as well. So let's get started with uh, which cloud you should pick up to uh, get started for the DevOps preparation, correct? So. In the market right now, there are three cloud as you might be aware, uh, the three which is trending one, correct? So there is a AWS, there is a GCP, then there is a Azure as well, uh, which is provided by the Microsoft itself. Now, when we talk about the AWS, AWS is highly demanded in the market, correct? Uh, you know, AWS is highly demanded. It has the multiple uh, sectors of the business as well. So on the AWS cloud, different organizations are switching, correct? They are, if they are on the on-prem side, they are even trying to move towards the public cloud and they are adopting the AWS cloud first. And then they are, once they analyze the cost, they analyze the different things, they are trying to switch to the different cloud as well, correct? But the AWS is the basic one. AWS has multiple resources. Even AWS has its own uh, AWS documentation. It has own uh, free AWS tier account as well where you can uh, sign up to their free AWS tier account, you can create and you can play with multiple services, which is freely available for you up to a certain limit. And that certain limit, limit is very vast and you can utilize it. You can learn the DevOps completely, correct? So you should get started with the AWS cloud first. Once you are familiar with that, if you want to get into the uh, multi-cloud domain, you can uh, get started with the Google cloud as well. And then obviously Azure as well. So once you become the multi-cloud expert, your package is obviously going to be high. But even if you are familiar with the AWS cloud, you are expert in the AWS cloud, somewhere you are going to around earn 15 to 16 LP as a two to three years of experience, guys, correct? So talking about the services, which kind of services you will pick up to get started with the DevOps world, correct? So if we talk about the services, you should get started with the AWS cloud. What is AWS cloud? why there is a cloud and why cloud came into the picture that all these things we have talked uh, in video and uh, i have created a aws related playlist as well that playlist you can watch and you can get uh, you will be uh, completely uh, aware of the aws cloud and all those services which are required to get started with but let's talk about the services as well so you should get started with the bpc the rds instances the ec2 the lambda function api gateway im role policy s3 bucket and then obviously you should get familiar with the Cognito. That's your authentication related services. You should get, uh, you should also be familiar with the SES, SNS, CloudWatch. So these are approx uh, 10 to 15 few services of the AWS cloud with which you should get started. These AWS services will create a base for you from where you will be understanding the AWS cloud concept, how uh, things can be correlated how things can be configured on the in uh, terms of AWS cloud correct? that you can uh, learn and you can get started. So if you talk about the market, market is highly uh, wide. As you know, there are the multiple clouds are available, multiple resources are available. But even if you talk about the AWS related uh, content, which is available, uh, which is uh, available or not on the internet. 
so aws documentation is there aws related playlist on the channels uh, that on the different uh, youtube channels are available like abhishek virmala is the one of the youtuber who has created uh, multiple videos on the aws side correct so you can watch out uh, his videos as well yeah if you get uh, want to get started you can get started with my content as well which is already freely available on the channel and those are completely with the demo as well now if we talk about after the aws like once you have learned about the aws what should you learn second one correct you can get started with your uh, kubernetes related concept when we talk about the kubernetes of course there are deployments there are demon set there are config map secrets there are uh, a stateful set then uh, your stateless set and uh, you can talk about your uh, so what you get service account are back and all these things concepts correct you can talk about the kubernetes architecture master nodes slave, slave nodes uh, the different uh, components of the kubernetes correct like your controller your uh, replica uh, replica controller correct so you can talk about all these uh, different stuff kubelet kube proxy then once you are familiar with the kubernetes as well so you can get started with your ci cd concept like the different tools are available in the ci cd like you can get started with the jenkins you can get started with the github actions you can get started with your argo cd so there are multiple tools available for uh, ci cd as well in terms of aws cloud you can uh, get started with aws code build as well correct or aws code commit code build there are multiple tools which are easily available by the aws cloud itself so you can learn about all these tech stacks you can get started with the terraform where you will be learning about the infrastructure as a code how can you write the different scripts and these scripts will help you to get a uh, to provision all the infrastructure over the aws cloud or any of the cloud like you can write the terraform script to pro provision your resources on the gcp side on the azure side wherever you want to correct you can write the your terraform scripts to create the kubernetes related resources as well so you should get started with the AWS cloud first when we talk about the cloud you should get started with the Kubernetes that your container orchestration tool you should get started with the docker that's your container uh, containerization tool you should get started with the terraform which is a infrastructure as a code tool you should get started with the Jenkins which is a CI CD tool so all these are the tech stacks through which you can get started and if you have not started yet and you are uh, you are about to start you can watch out the content which is available on the different uh, youtube channels either you can go with my channels and with there you can uh, get started you can ask me anything in the comments and anytime if you require any help personally i am available to help that there as well so you can get started with either my content or any of the freely con available content on the channel uh, any any channels correct so you should learn correct you should learn ultimately you should get a higher package you should not get a stick with your uh, lower package or you should not get a stick with uh, your uh, uh, limited knowledge i will say that you should also uh, you should always uh, gear up for uh, learning you should always gear up for scaling yourself correct so even if you are in the development you are in non it background and you want to get started with you can get started with the devops related thing so in this particular video i wanted to talk about this only and in the last if you are not aware how much you can get in the devops world so you should be aware of correct if you are fresher and if you are equipped with all these uh, technical skills like development the devops you are going, going to get a higher package uh, other than any of your friends if you are familiar with that correct so as a fresher you can expect 7 to 8 lpa at least if you are not from the iit nit or different like the different brand tags has the different uh, compensation given by the organizations but if you even if you are from a simple uh, or tier 3 kind of college i will say you are going to uh, get around 7 to 8 lpa if you are from the like branded companies so, or sorry branded college of, of course you are going to uh, get around 16 to 17 lpa as a fresher as well i work in the organization and i see some of the freshers who have joined at uh, this amount as well so you are definitely going to get if you do have the skills so try to focus on gaining the skills uh, learning about the skills and try to ga get uh, beyond the competition correct so of, of course that uh, higher learning will pay you the back so in this particular video i wanted to talk about uh, this only and uh, you can hit the subscribe button to watch out the chat uh, videos which are available on the channels to get the updates about the channels and uh, 
the new videos which are coming to the channel. Till the time, thank you. Bye-bye.